Hey everybody, I'm jumping right here. My name is Mark I'm from the DIY Home Improvement Club group and I'm also the DIYer Academy. Uh, what we're gonna do today is, we're gonna, behind me as you can see, we're gonna change a mobile home door out. So, there's a few things we gotta go over before we actually change the door out, especially in a mobile home. The first thing we gotta go over is the height. A mobile home door is usually 75 and a half. And for your standard door, you should be between 82 and 82 and a half inches. And the other thing that they didn't have in here was a header. So as you can see, when I actually put the, the pantry together, I gutted it. So I put a header inside that there. And the other thing I was checking for before I figured out swing was you want to make sure you got a decent level wall. The hinge side is going to go on. This side here is off a little bit. I mean, it's not bad. But that's why I choose to go with a left-handed on this side. When you come outside the mobile home, what we're gonna have to do here is we got about 8,000 screws roughly probably to take out. And then we can remove this door and slap the new one in. So when I come back, I'll have this one out and I'll start installing the new one. All righty. And like I said, I'll be back, got the door out. I actually took the sawzall, I cut out the rest of the plywood and the boarding away. I checked for level and square. I have my door here. I'm putting in a 30 inch nine light door, two panels. And one thing you gotta remember, because I have done this, I don't forget to take off the little nut that usually sits right here, that holds your door in square as you're putting the hole in. So, at this point in time, I'm gonna put this door in real quick, and then I'll be right back and show you the final results and what I did and where I put my screws. See you in a few minutes. So I'm back, the door is in. This little light will go away once you push it shut. Gaps, the lines are pretty good. So what I do when I install my doors, this first thing I do is I usually pin the hinge side these gave you screws. I have to go get a couple screws to silver to match it. Then over here, what I do as far as getting screws in to hold the door is I pull back the molding, the gasket here, and then I sneak the screws right behind it. And I go right down through until I work. This one happened to be a little bit off. Um, the wall actually leans out about an eighth of an inch on the left side and the right side actually leans out just a hair more and the hole wasn't perfectly square so really i had to put the door in by feel um and what i mean by that is i just put it in open and close it until it feels good and then once it feels good i pin it but my line there is good top line the shadow showing it but it actually is good i measured it and the hinge line looks really good so that's basically uh changing the door in a mobile home it's really not that bad actually changing a door in your house normal house with a standard hole is even easier pull one out put one back in so next video will be a sliding barn door going into this pantry actually got the door here and that'll be the next video coming up